Hi, Guy McPherson from Nature Bats Last here in southwestern New Mexico. Happy International Permaculture Day. I'm here at the Mud Hut and we're going to walk through the orchard. We don't have much growing this time of the year because our average last frost date is actually Cinco de Mayo or International Permaculture Day. And the last two years we've had a killing frost the last day of May. So we don't plant a lot of the summer gardens this early. So we're going to walk through the orchard. Here we have a gala apple tree that's in full flower. A little bit behind the apricots, pluots, plums, and peaches. And that's good because maybe those flowers won't get killed by one of those lethal for freezing events that certainly is on the way. Let's we'll take a little walk through the orchard here. Pecan tree over here. More apple trees over here. In flower, you can see behind the biochar kiln, you can see a cherry tree. No, sorry, that's an Asian apple or an Asian pear. Another one of those in the foreground. Native tree here, a desert willow, Chilopsis linearis, beautiful native tree. And here we have a cold frame, or what's sometimes called a hot box. Analogous to a miniature greenhouse, really, in which the plants are planted in the ground and the heat is retained by closing these windows at night. And you can see we have an abundance of greens in here right now. We have some arugula, some spinach, some lettuce right here, some chard over here. Quite a variety of greens. We grow those throughout the year. And then Right adjacent to the hot box, we have a little kit greenhouse with a very small solar array, the panel for which is right here. And that solar array just powers a germination heating mat that allows us to get the plant started pretty early so we can get the tomatoes and peppers up at a decent size before we put them out in the garden.